Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I wanted to show you guys a pretty cool new language app that I just found out about and it is called Ling. So let me go ahead and open it up here and show you guys what this app is about. First off, I wanna give a big thank you to the developers for sending us out a license to check this out because this is a language app that I hadn't heard of yet. And of course, everyone knows the main ones on the app store. And once I looked at their website and kind of checked out the app, uh, I was very intrigued. So when you open it up, obviously you get to choose what language you want to learn. So I'm gonna click on this flag here. So I put, I speak English and I want to learn and you can put you know, whatever language you want to learn. So right now I've got Tagalog, but there's Afrikaans, Albanian, Arabic, Armenian. I mean, you can just see how many different languages there are here. Of course, there's all the main ones like German, Chinese, Japanese, Korean. Uh, the list just goes on and on. And if there's something that you're looking for here, um, you can just pause it and look, but there's so many. You can choose uh, as many as you want. I could choose a different one if I wanted right here uh, and go through Afrikaans if I want. So go back to Tagalog, so T-A-G, boom right there, and it saves all of your progress. So when I open this back up, you can see I've got a couple of points here. Now I just started this app, uh, so I wanted to give you guys kind of a general overview of it and my journey with it. So uh, this is just the first video here. I want to get this out to y'all in case you wanted to try it out for yourself. These are banana points, and the more you get, the higher you are on the leaderboard, and here are hint coins. So every time you finish a lesson, you can get more of those to use. Uh, so far, I haven't had to use any. Down here at the bottom, you've got your three tabs. You got learn, review, and chatbot. Now that's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute very unique to this app, and I really like using that. Review here, this is where you can review all of the vocabulary that you've learned so far. Uh, so I'm gonna let it load up here, it just takes a second. And here is uh, the vocab, and if you click on it, it will say whatever that word is, and it gives you the definition right under in English. So that is perfect if you're trying to learn something and you can't quite remember what the vocab word was, just open up this vocab tab and you can see all of them all at once. Next up, let's quickly talk about the chatbot because I think this is so cool. So I've already gone through a couple here. Let's just click on in the coffee shop just so I can give you guys a quick idea of what this is about. So basically it's like as if another person is talking to you and you can hear what they're saying in that language. Uh, and then you click on this. I don't know if you guys can hear that uh, because my volume is a little low, but uh, I'll put it close to the mic here. And once you click on it, it obviously reads it. You can do it slower if you want. And then you hit send. It's like, it's like you're texting, but it's like a full blown conversation. next here and there you go so that is the chat bot here and you can see there's a bunch of different things you can go through this helps you get in that mindset of that you're just texting someone like a natural conversation maybe you're someone that doesn't learn as well if you're just staring at vocab words so seeing it in sentences is very helpful at least for me so i really like this i'm glad that they have it in there it's just a laid back way to hear the language and kind of get an idea of how they speak it and here you can see we've got dialogue which is actually very similar to the chat bot uh, you can basically go through this entire uh, conversation here. It's a nice way to review the language as you are learning it. And lastly, we have grammar, which I think is very important to learn. Uh, some people don't learn as well with uh, grammar first versus vocabulary, uh, but this lets you learn at your own pace. So you can go in here and take a look at some grammar and examples with some sample words here. Uh, this is for consonants and then you got vowels. So yeah, you can go through those if you'd like. And of course, you've got your user menu here where you can see uh, where you rank on the scale. Obviously, there's some people in here that are really learning some stuff. And of course, you've got achievements. But now let's go ahead and jump into one of these lessons. I was actually in the middle of this one, but I went ahead and quit it just so I could show you guys kind of how this works. I'm gonna turn up the volume just a bit here. Okay, so it's basically teaching some new vocabulary and then it quizzes you and asks you, hey, what was 25? And you have to check it and there we go, it was correct. And then now I have to pick 12. And as you can see, I picked the wrong one. You can see that little 14 there. So if I hit check, it's gonna be wrong. We already know this one's 25. So if I click it, it shows the 25, which means this one's 40. And this one is the correct answer. So check, there we go. So it does kind of help you out with the pictures, which I do like, uh, because when you're new to something like this, it's definitely helpful. So let's go ahead and finish this up. There we go. So you kind of get the idea here. I'm gonna close this lesson. I'll do it later. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys the exam. So I'm gonna click on that one. So that was this one. And it means he speaks Chinese. 
Now here I have to put the words in order and hit check. So I speak English. So this is kind of how the exams work. You got three lives at the top. Obviously you don't want to lose. So you better know your stuff when you go into these exams. So it's a great way if you want to learn one of these languages on your own. Of course, you can use this for Spanish. If you're in a Spanish class at school and you need some extra help, uh, you could get this app and just kind of go through it. Maybe you learn better uh, with an app like this. Now just exiting out of that exam here, uh, I'm just going to scroll down so you guys can see what else you can learn in this language. Uh, there's a lot of different things. I mean, those were the beginners. Here's the intermediates and the upper intermediates and then the advanced. So there is a lot. And then here's expert, which is even higher than that. But you can see there's tons of different uh, categories here. Uh, maybe at the airport, that might be something that you want to learn first. So you can jump around. You don't have to go in order at all um, because some of this. So yeah, some of this might be actually kind of important. Now, of course, in Philippines and most places around the world, they speak English. So if you know English, you're good. But of course, you don't have to be an English speaker to use this app. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of it. Um, if there's anything that's new that I need to make another video on, of course, we will do that. But I wanted to make a quick introduction video and overview of this application just so you guys can check it out, put it on your radar. If you want to pick it up, I'll have it linked down below in the description. You guys can check it out. Let me know how you like it. That's all I got for this video. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.